Okay, here's the deal. I'm about to attempt to go from zero to CompTIA Security Plus certified in just 48 hours. No months of studying, just two days of pure grind. The CompTIA Security Plus is one of the most recognized cybersecurity certifications out there. It's not easy. It covers a broad range of cybersecurity topics. Most people take months to pass the exam. Some take weeks, but I don't have that kind of time. I have 48 hours. I have no idea if I'll pass or fail. I have no idea if what I'm trying to do is even realistic. But by the end of this video, we will find out. Okay, first things first, let's get this exam booked. So I knew the Security Plus was not a cheap exam, but I didn't know it was this expensive. You know, I was thinking, Maybe it's a little bit pricey, maybe one, 200 pounds, you know, $250 maybe. And then I got to hear, bruh, this is not cheap. Security Plus is $404. And that's not even including tax. And doing this challenge, I probably wanna go for the one that gives you that retake. So I don't actually know if I'm gonna be able to pass in 48 hours. Man, I'm really gonna pay this? The things I do for YouTube. Security Plus voucher, this retake, 480 pounds. Oh, goodness. And just the exam is 233. I know that if I just take the exam, there's a good chance that I fail. But I will save so much money with just doing the exam rather than going for this retake. Guys, I'm doing it. I'm risking it all. I'm just gonna pay for one exam. Things I do for YouTube, man. Plus tax, that's 279 pounds. Transaction is complete. The money has been taken from my account. And so the work starts right now. My promise to you is that by the end of this video, you'll have everything that you need to know to pass the CompTIA Security Plus exam and become Security Plus certified. This is how I would study for the Security Plus certification with just one month. I'm gonna share with you all the steps and resources that I use to pass the CompTIA Security Plus 701 exam in 2024 in under a month, no experience needed. In this video, I'm gonna be telling you how I passed the CompTIA Security Plus exam in less than 30 days. Okay, so first things first, I need to actually understand how I'm gonna pass. Like before I even start looking at the content, I need to look into videos of people who have actually passed to see exactly how I did it. And so that's why I'm watching these videos. Simone B's, this guy called Quick IT. We got Ben Troll. Like I'm just looking at all of these videos to try and find content creators who have done this exam and they're showing the best ways they've done this. But the interesting thing about this, everyone's talking about passing on your first try, passing in under a month, Passing in two weeks. I've not seen a single video about passing in less than two days. I'm trying to figure out if what I'm trying to do is even possible, but I guess we'll find out. So I found something that could be really, really helpful. And it's actually an app. So there is a CompTIA exam app, which provides you with practice questions, like loads of practice questions, loads of mock tests, it's right here, and it shows you um, the missed questions that you do. So every time you fail a question, there's a missed question section that you can go back and go back through your missed questions. So you do have to pay for this. Uh, I paid eight pounds for a month of it. Obviously, I'm not gonna have it that long, but it has been really helpful so far, just being able to do questions. And tomorrow, when I'm on the move or out and about, I'm just gonna whip out my phone, do a couple questions. Really good, really helpful, really easy. It is the morning and yesterday I was using the app to do practice questions and study. And I was like, yo, there's a lot here that I don't know. Originally, I thought maybe I would just be able to wing it. I thought, you know, I work in cybersecurity, so most of this stuff should be second nature. But unfortunately, that's just not the case. One thing that has been very clear is that there are so many acronyms in this exam. Acronyms that I've never heard of, even in my time working in cybersecurity. So I've put out a page in my notebook just for acronyms. And anytime I come across a question, an acronym that I don't know and haven't heard of, I just write it down and write exactly what that acronym stands for. And hopefully these acronyms will become a lot more familiar. 
The time is 11.30 and I'm actually at work at the moment. Every time I get five or 10 minutes, I hop on the app and do 10 questions. I'm just doing as many questions as possible and after work, I'm gonna hit some more study resources and see what other resources I can use to push me over the line. Make sure that I pass that. Not every artist could handle that. Mm -hmm. How do you get that balance of maintaining your focus on the job at hand? To be honest, the time is about 1.30 a.m. And I'm getting a bit tired. I just did a mock test and I'm still getting under 70%. The last test I did, I got 68%. And I don't have much time now to get over the line. Way less than 24 hours to do this. And I really just need to lock in, find the right resources that are gonna help me get over the line. I'm trying to pass this exam as quickly as humanly possible. <laughs> I have about 19 or 18 hours before I take this exam, so I don't have much time. And if you're taking the Security Plus, I would advise you to take a lot more time with it. Don't do what I'm doing. And I actually went into the tech certifier community, which is my Discord, which is the Discord community for this channel. We got some great people in there. And if you're not part of that community, you can join with the link below. But I went onto the community, started a new channel for the Security Plus and asked this question. I asked who here has done the Security Plus? And if so, what study resources did you use? And our friend Jay said he used Dion Training on Udemy used Cybercraft for PBQs, used the app in the App Store, which I presume is the same one I'm using, but Jay, if you're watching this, correct me if I'm wrong. These were definitely good suggestions based on what I know of Dion Training and the app, which I'm currently using. But there's one name that I always hear when it comes to CompTIA training, and that is Professor Messer. So I thought this was a great opportunity to check out Professor Messer and see what his courses really look like. I'm James Messer, and welcome to Professor Messer's SY0701 Security Plus training course. Now this looks really good. Professor Messer has a full course covering pretty much everything on the exam. And it's right here on YouTube for completely free. This is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna lock in for a few more hours, do some more study, and then get some rest. Oh, and if you are wondering why I'm wearing these glasses, I use screens a lot. I'm always on my phone. I'm always using my laptop for YouTube stuff. And I have like studio lights, which I look into. So I'll put these glasses on to kind of protect. So these are blue light glasses and they kind of protect from the light. I'm not being sponsored, this is not an ad. I was just letting you know in case you were wondering. I'll also leave a link in the description in case you guys use lots of screens in your day to day and would benefit from having something like this. In the application, but the application development, it's probably the most popular way. So instead of just asking for a username, add additional code into the app. Good morning, my friends. It is exam day. And as you saw last night, I'm not quite getting the scores I need to pass the exam just yet. I'm almost there. I've only got about nine hours to pass this exam. So for the next nine hours, I'm going to be locked in. Now, something that someone in my Discord community said to me gave me a massive reminder. In the Discord last night, Jay, one of the members, mentioned PBQs. And I'm not going to lie to you, this whole time I've been studying, I completely forgot that PBQs existed. And if you haven't taken a CompTIA exam before, I know what you're thinking. What in the world is a PBQ? PBQ stands for Performance Based Questions. And they are real life interactive simulations that mimic real world scenarios and test your practical skill. Luckily, when Jay mentioned these PBQs, he also suggested a resource that we can use to study for them. And that resource is this YouTube channel, which is completely free. The channel is called Cybercraft. And this guy is walking us through various PBQs similar to what will come out on the actual exam. I've only got about six hours left to take this exam. So now I need to lock in on these PBQs and make sure I understand them and can get those marks when it comes to the exam. 
Hi, this is Dennis with Cybercraft. We're doing another Security Plus performance-based question here. Okay, well, first off, we want to make sure this is in the right syntax. It has the IP of our device. I just fell asleep, dude. The time now is 6.34, which means in less than an hour, I'm going to have to log into Pearson View and get ready for the exam. i got to be honest, I have massively underestimated the difficulty of the CompTIA Security Plus. Um, this exam is difficult. Even for people who've worked in cybersecurity for a while, there are so many acronyms, so many PBQs to go through. It's not something you can just do in 48 hours. I genuinely don't think I'm gonna pass, but of course I'm gonna give it my all and do my best. And if I do pass, I'll be pleasantly surprised, but I really don't expect to be passing this exam, guys. Nonetheless, we've got about 50 minutes left. I'm gonna make the most of that 50 minutes, do as much studying as I can and see if I can just get lucky. I think if the stars align today, if what comes out in the exam is the stuff that I know, then there's a chance that I pass. But that chance is probably a 15% chance. I have a 15% chance at passing this exam. And that just depends on the right questions coming out in the exam. The right questions don't come out, there's no way I pass. I've seen too many acronyms that I just don't know. I haven't had the time to really understand what those acronyms mean. Like I can know the acronym, like what the words say, but I don't know what that thing actually does, if you know what I mean. I have realized that the Security Plus is so broad. I would have thought that by now, I would have wrapped my head around most stuff, but I genuinely have not. Wish me the best guys, but if I don't pass, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you know, you know. That's it. I've done all the preparation I can. I'm about to take this exam. It's time to face the music. And in a few seconds, I'll be telling you guys whether I passed or failed. And <clears throat> failed is definitely most likely at this point. Wish me the best of luck and I will see you on the other side. I put a lot of effort into this video. So I would really appreciate if you absolutely smashed that like button. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe as well. I have just finished my exam and this is the moment of truth. The passing score for the Security Plus is 750. And you're not gonna believe this, but my score was 775. Parte Cristiano! Sí! Against all odds, I've managed to pass this exam in just 48 hours. I really didn't think I was going to pass. Here is a list of all the resources that I used to pass the exam. And they will all be linked in the description of this video. And if you enjoyed this video, then you're gonna love this one.